Hello there and good morning. I haven't done a stream in quite some time, so I'm just getting back into it. I'm taking a, an interest in chess lately, so I thought I would do some work on a chess program, something that would help me analyze my games after I'm done playing. I'm just going to jump right into that right now, starting with a chess board. I have about half an hour today, so I don't have a lot of time, so I thought I would just knock out a chess board in good though. I eventually do want to get back into some J stuff and incorporate that as well, but for now, this is where I'm at. This is Godot 4. It's the beta. It just came out on the 14th of beta 3, so four days ago. All right, and I have done some chess stuff before, so I have a, a folder full of sprites for the pieces. I thought I would copy that over. These are just some things I drew a long time ago. Silly little stylized chess pieces. Probably definitely need some, you know, I, they're only 40 by 40 pixels, but there you go. So those are my sprites for the game. And what I want to do is I want to create a, I, I was thinking like I, you can just, you have a canvas, so you can draw whatever you want, but I was thinking that I would model this as just a grid of actual square objects. So I'm going to call this square, a square node, and I'm going to create a, I guess actually really the root could be a color node. So change type, then we can change this to color rect. That's like the default control for just making a colored square. And then we'll add a script to it that allows it to be a little more magic, right? So contain a PC. Okay. So since color rect and let's see, export, interesting. I can have to change colors. Maybe yeah. it's been a while since I used Godot too, but we'll find out. Okay. So export and uh, the blue on uh, set get allows you to write setters. Let's call set get set done. And then punk set done. This seems very strange. Dark, unexpected identifier in class body. So dark equals V. Um, and then if dark, I clearly got something wrong up here. So publish. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't know Godot at all. If dark, I'm not fluent in Godot. If dark, then color equals, and we'll make it probably there should be a theme at some point, but we'll just make it color gold, dark gold. And else we can need to make this at else color. All right. <clears throat> All right. That's the first thing we need to look up and just reveal personal information everywhere. No prop. Where are the docs? Learn. Production. Export, right? No. We'll be cutting all this. I've typed this like a million times. Games, nodes, and scene. Script. It's possible something has changed since I know the, the GD script language has changed a little bit. Wow. Clap. Where's the language reference? Class reference writing. Update line. class reference. Class declaration. All right, class. Okay, you don't have to do that in export. Yes, you say export. Export there. Maybe I, I didn't. I lose. I lost the there. Export there. In class body too. Kiddo for export. Right, export. Ah, okay. So now this is like a decorator. Okay. Set get. That's all right. Nope. Set get is not allowed at this level. For set. No, well, set get. There state. Set get. Okay. Set dark. Expected end of statement after a variable declaration. Looks like you can also just put this in. Oh, okay. So it's set. You can put this inside the set. Set V. So we do that. Okay. So export var. Yeah. This is not the syntax. Cool. Fall. Oops. There we go. Set V. It doesn't like mixed use of tabs and spaces. Okay. I didn't mean to. There we go. Set V. Perfect. Okay. That's the new syntax. Okay. I like that. <clears throat> All right. So if we look at the 2d view, all right, so we should probably set this square to the, right. So dark on, all right. So first we, that should change the color. It doesn't, it should, but it doesn't. Okay. I think maybe we have to do tool in the, yeah. Cause we have to say tool. So the tool extends oh, probably tool in it. Yeah. Okay. No nope. tool. Okay. That's a new line after tool in it. Being extends color rect. I don't like that. I'd rather keep it all in one line, but that's for me to say. Okay, so now if you check this button, it should change the color. So it does not. Okay. Here there's some nice new little pretty clear lapsed good messages. Here output. I don't know why that would be a clear button, but okay. A dark. Okay. Do you have to say it's a dark color? You don't have to do it to set the variable. I wonder if you have to do it to set the it does not seem to matter. Okay. Okay. Reload the scene. Let's see if that doesn't make a difference. There we go. Okay, yeah. So I guess. There's just, that's what I'm expecting. So I guess you had to reload it to get the thing to kick in. So now that's my two colors of, of square. And let's just go ahead and, all right. So we're going to make a chessboard now. I'll just go ahead and make the default one, like a certain size. Okay. Control layout. This is new. 
custom width, custom minimum size. Well, we saw the images were 48 pixels by 48 pixels, 48 pixels. So we'll just do that. Anchors top left. That's fine. That's how it's laid out. And we'll see what we have. Okay. So this is going to be a very small image. Okay. Let's scale that up later and we'll get new icons. There. Okay. So that's a square and we'll make it not dark. What am I doing on time? That was about 15 minutes. Learning the new syntax. I guess in Godot um, 3, you don't have these at signs and this is the home online. And you don't have the syntax that's called set get and you just write a function. Okay. All right. So now we're going to make a new scene called the board. Scene new scene. I'll make a in the user interface. This control. And we're going to change the type of this control to a, I guess I want to make a row of columns. H box. H box. There's not a pretty good no. Yeah, I'm just going to hard code this for now. So H box, I'm making an H box. These are, I want this to be a V box. I want, I want to, I want to do the rows. I'm going to have rows of, so start with rows, change type. That should be a V box. You can see that, but okay. V box, you see the icon changed to row. So we'll say those are the ranks and then add child node. We'll add an H box container. And so this will be rank because in chess they're named rank. I almost want to put like rank eight up here. That's interesting. Rank eight. Uh, maybe I'll rearrange it later. So rank one and then rearrange it later. Okay. So now uh, we don't need this upper the square. This is what, oh, this is saving the scene. So we're going to call this board. Probably I want to give each square a name. Um, so in addition, so let's call it export their name, the name of the square string, and then that's it. Original native class color rect. How about square name? Oh, I see. The name is just the name, right? So the name would just be the name over here. So then add child node. We're going to add a square. So now we just add, we just drag square in here and we're going to call this. So I'll rank one. This would be a one, right? A one is dark. And then we're going to duplicate this a little wider. A two is not dark. Not a two. What am I doing? This is not what I want. This is B one. And then B three. Wow. C one. D one. E one. F one. G1 and H1. Okay. And B1 is dark. C1, B1 is light. D1 is light. F1 is light. And H1 is light. Right, and so if I look at the scene now, that should have made a row of these boxes. Okay. And then we can change the uh, spacing and whatnot. But I, I think that's fine. I can change the spacing later. Do I want to change the spacing later? It doesn't matter. Duplicate. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And just flip all of the bits. Do that eight times. And this is going to be upside down. No, but that's okay. Not all the bits. And I'm out of time. All right, angles. People working on the house. Okay, F1, dark. Oh, yeah, we do have all the bits. Every single one. Okay, and then we got to rename these. A2, 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 H2. Okay, and then let's just duplicate these. Four times. Should be done. Your chessboard. Okay. So this does not resize more than that. So, oops. I didn't look at that. All right. Can I make this? I mean, it probably would have been nicer to do this programmatically after all. But you only have to do this once. Maybe learn a little bit about properties. Yeah, I don't like those colors. We'll change the colors later. My golden. A little too jarring it. And I'll go ahead and manually do this. This is tedious. I'm always inclined to write a program to do these things. And I may wind up doing that at some point. But to just generate all this. But I'm not above doing some manual work because it's only 16 squared. I'm almost certainly going to wind up redoing this. I'm going to change the script a bit. Change that color. Wow. Color. Actually, I like the dark golden. Color. Is there like a wheat color? Navajo white. How about that? <clears throat> all right. So I think if I relate the scene, then that's annoying. I would have expected that to I live with this color for now. Yeah, I can live with this color. Let's highlight all these. I do multiple ones at once. Really don't like that. Wow. That's ugly. Okay. Then the most obnoxious spot for the camera is right in front of that thing. And it's off the screen and I keep sinking. Okay. The other And perhaps if these are really sad, they one object. All right. This is one way to do it. Maybe I'll document another way to do it. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> That's my chessboard. And now I'm going to save these colors. This light is to this color. 
and the dark color will be okay. Why is it nice and why is it the color I want here? And then I just paste the wrong color. No. Oh, so we need SF in here. Nope. SF at the end. Yes. Right. Cause it's turns you gray. But it's interesting that it actually it gets updating. And now it's updating the colors. But how do I get it to update? I don't know. See? And there we go. So now it updates the colors. That's what it should have done the first time. I'm a little confused. See? See those same thing. All right. Well, the next thing is to add it. I wonder if I can have it. Like make this drag and drop. Charles current roots. Alt to drag. And we do want it to be a sprite too. Do I want these to be children of the rectangle? I'm not sure. Obviously that doesn't go there. It goes here, right? I'm just going to put them in their place for now. All right, so the other back picture goes here. Let's just get them on the scene and see what happens. All right, so white one here. I feel like it would be easier to just do make copies after you line them up. Wow. Is there an align feature? Snap to grid. Grid is not like where I want to see. Well, smart. How about that? Snap to this object. No? It does want to line up these things. I'm seeing a guide. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's duplicate. It goes here. It goes here. It goes here. Here. And it goes here. I always like the nightness. Here. And the rook goes here. Rook goes here. Rook. And a black. All right, so that's a check for it. Now you can move just by moving it in Godot. All right, so yeah, so now I want everything snapping and all that. And drag and drop it. Okay, very likely going to change the way this works. But now I have something on the screen. I can start working with that. And that was about 45 minutes. I'm including all that looking for documentation and whatnot. I'm just going to save this, check this in. And I'm going to still start, but hopefully I'll be back at it. So incremental progress every day. All right, thanks for watching. See you again soon.